I often get messages to look at a cheat site, but this one definitely grabbed my attention a bit too hard. This cheat site is probably the absolute worst case of delusional pacing that I've ever seen going on. The owners are clearly incompetent children who believe you have to rule with an iron fist. It's probably the reason it's not going to go anywhere. Before I even get into how bad the cheat is itself, I wanted to go into some of the things that they do that are either illegal or immoral. The first thing being that they will false copyright strike videos with a blatant misunderstanding of what fair use is. Okay, I, I have another question since we're waiting on this. Uh, like, why do you think you have the right to take people's videos down in the first place? I can um, easily take that video down and make a copyright claim and stomp. In that clip, you heard the owner of the site, Skirt, telling people that he can get a video taken down very easily. From what I can gather from the rest of the clip that isn't an actual verbal shit show, it sounds like the owner of the site false copyright struck down a video showcasing the cheat for them simply because he was shooting people without a legit bot enabled and it made them look bad by missing. Maybe I heard it wrong, but that's what it sounds like to me. And like when you were shooting players, it didn't look good. I wasn't using the enabled. legit bot in the video. I Cap, you were shooting some people in the video. Yeah, I, don't I was know. shooting them. I was fucking talking and shooting people. It's commentary. Yeah. Regardless of whatever the reason is, it's an obvious abuse of the copyright system, and you would have no standing if you were to fight it. But that's just one of the many naughty things they've decided to participate in. The cheat since it launched has been a buggy mess. I was provided some clips of the cheat in action, and it reminds me a lot of tabs were using Lethality's rage bot in my video about him. How is that even fun, bro? That's just fucking lame. So what do you do when you have a cheat with an abundance of problems, an immature and inexperienced staff, and a low budget? Well, that's easy. The first thing you do is you get free advertising while squashing criticism by getting a moderator a CSGO hack subreddit mod position. They can remove any posts bad-mouthing the cheat, so much so that other moderators are required to step in. The next thing you do is you hand out copies to cheating YouTubers and cheat review channels. What do you do if they say anything bad? Well, then you just leak their IP, of course, and then you deliver them the most graceful apology you can muster up. Cheat. Think it's okay to fucking drop my IP because I said something bad in a review that I made for them. If I did it and I don't remember, I apologize. If I did it, <laughs> wait, I, no, that is no. the most I mean, gonna, apology gonna, I've ever heard in my life. If, if I drop your IP and I didn't remember it, I apologize. What's left, you simply toss to the bottom feeders of cheating YouTubers, slap it on your website, and sit back as the dollars roll in, baby. I decided to take a look at their website myself, and the first thing you see is a section at the home page for their YouTube videos. I was absolutely not surprised in the slightest to see that the videos were by Boozy and Tabsware. If you haven't learned by now, any cheat site that they're going to advertise to you, they have done zero research, and nine times out of ten it's going to be paste. That normally would not be a problem if you knew what you were buying, but that usually comes with the problems of the staff being inexperienced. In these two images, Skirt first says that he has 600 users, and then the same day says he has 700 users. It sounds like they're inflating numbers, and they don't really have a concrete number to tell people. When they're inflating their numbers, this is another huge red flag. I would avoid it entirely just because of that. For a site that has 600 to 700 VIPs, it seems pretty dead. There's usually only 10 to 15 actions per day going on. As you can see, I'm already back at Wednesday. Oh, I'm sorry, Monday. Jeez. Normally these types of videos would be a lot longer for me. I'd have somebody use the cheat and show you how awful it performs, but the cheat is obviously a busted pile of junk, the staff are clearly not trustworthy, and those two things alone lead me to believe that the loader's probably not too clean either. What honestly are the odds that these inexperienced goofballs could muster up enough brain between them to write a fully functional loader to begin with? On top of that, what are the odds that we trust those same goofballs to respect our privacy and simply have a loader that does its job? I, myself, am going to guess slim to none. Oh wait, I already did see some feedback on how their loader works. Real quick, I want to take an official website tour real quick, show you all through real fast. So we have our generic website with a shitty background that most pastes do. If you guys remember isolation.top, it looked exactly like this, but anyway, we'll keep going. So, wait, does it actually just take you to the purchase page? Okay. Software. Cool. Why is there a product? Oh my god. Saves you $1,000.
per 10 years. Good lord. Okay, so here we are on the forums. Let's take a look here. There's three sections. Testimonials. Wait, what the, what the shit? Are they all deleted? Suggestions and bugs. Here we go. Oh god, look at this formatting. Let's see. Add aimbot curving to legit pot. RCS randomization multipoint. Oh my god. Scout and op are the same. Alright. Awesome. So this is a mess. I can't edit this. <laughs> I can't edit this. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. The reason I'm not bothering to actually look at any of the reviews is because I know they delete anything bad. Injection error. Injection. No running steam in the background. Virus skin off. Unable to display background and restarted. Downloaded computer again, but did not work. Bro, he downloaded a whole ass computer, and this shit site still doesn't work properly. Nice. So, I went to the staff directory, and I thought this asexual name looked kind of familiar. So I went to my Discord, and I went to my server settings, and I went to my bands. And what a surprise, I found that he was there, banned for chargeback attempt. So, uh, let that sink in. Alright, this site doesn't really have much going on. It's kind of just the generic copy-paste cheat forum. The usual, is that a PlayStation background, the buttons? Oh my god. I'm definitely done. I'm done on this site. To sum up this video, I would like to mention one of the main problems. Obviously what this comes down to is greed, but what I'm talking about is other people other than just the staff. Most of the cheating YouTube channels and cheat reviewing YouTube channels are willing to accept any and all offers. Most of them are receiving direct payments of money, they're receiving the product for free and also a percentage of sales that they bring from their videos. They're willing to take anything and everything because they simply don't care. Not only that, but there's already a bad stigma to cheaters in general, so of course nobody's gonna feel bad for you when someone gets over on you like this. You cannot trust these people did their research simply because their subscriber count is a large number, and most of the time, the cheat site is coming to the person to begin with. You must do your own research, and this also comes with being able to weed out biased and flat-out wrong feedback. That's all I have for right now on this website. If I have any more, I'll make another video. Other than that, I'll see you next time.